Legend of Total War here with part 160 of my Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Previously, we conquered Vindabona, which has wiped out the, um, the Dacians. Good riddance to the fuckers. Alright, um, I'm gonna put this guy inside the settlement here, because I realize that'll give him a chance to resupply and whatnot. And then we just need to do our final touches to the turn. I'll keep those guys there because they'll help uh, increase the experience of these guys. But at some point, we're going to have to send reinforcements. Um, I took Kaidonia when? Must have been a few turns ago. I tend to forget about these guys. Alright. If I bring you here, can you get to Sparta? No. Which means you stay there, and we'll, we'll set them. We'll uh, move uh, move on next turn. Uh, that needs to go. Let's prioritize that. Sir. So that guy needs to be retrained. And of course, we need retraining over here. Alright, let's get this done. And then move on. Whoops, doesn't matter. Overall, a very productive winter. Kind of realized that was going to happen, but that's okay. We knew Vindabona was going to do that. Okay, the public order is much better. So how many men died? Quite a few, but it's no big deal. It's just the, um, it's them. Okay, now you guys will need to stay here. How badly damaged is this army? He's not in too bad shape. Hellenic Slingers, so I want to bring you over here. No, you. And then send him over there to them, because they're not able to leave there just yet. That'll maintain public order, and that'll get it to 75% anyway. You guys can stay near the fort. We're gonna be gonna be here for a while, but that's okay. There's no more enemies out this way for the time being. We've, we've got a chance to breathe. I mean, the the Germanians they're not against us just yet. I always find the best way to to uh, handle an enemy is to kill them quickly, then just you know quickly consolidate their territory afterwards. Okay, now the problem with this settlement is garrison. They gobbled up all the fucking mercenaries prior to this, and we we can't recruit from the region, so we're sort of stuck here until some mercenaries become available. I really need to get these guys, you know, these ones here specifically retrained. Yeah, I'm not letting you come here. It's actually kind of good that I lost so many men, because we're trying to lower the population here anyway. And it's kind of working. You won't be able to build a fort on, on that tile there, so come to here. Well, he wants to go down here to try and ambush us, does he? That's not going to work. We're going straight for Velika. If I didn't know any better, I'd say they're recruiting from here. So taking it away from them will certainly be good. And don't get me wrong, we're going to go to war with with uh, with Gaul and Germania. We'll get there. 
Well, I should say I do in Sweet Wars, but same shit. Okay, public order here is much better. Trying to frow Jean needs to be destroyed. Yep, let's do it now. Okay, Ascocarlus is nowhere near as much of a threat as as this settlement was. So you guys will be fine to come over here, rejoin him. Yes, master. Moving into position. My lord, fortify position. Yes, master. Yeah, and conquer it. Yes, I'm going to get the horse archers to deal with that settlement. So what can we recruit here? Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that after we build this, because I imagine we'll, we're we going to be stuck here for a little while anyway. It's time we start having a look at what the, uh, the Sweebolds have, now that we've finally reached their border. It's kind of good that they've taken these rebel settlements. I know there's a settlement here as well. I haven't forgotten about you. Yes, but unfortunately, you still can't leave here. Yes, March. Yes, so, March. Okay, now we can actually turn off these festivals. Hello, off yes, you go. My lord, sir. My lord. Okay, it's becoming a huge city. It's not growing any further, yes, so strategy. just bend it all. Good. Bit of an exploit. Oh, it didn't really work. Ready to sail. Ships ready. Ready. Yes, sir. Ready. Ready. Yes, Captain. Yeah, it's no not gonna work. Move, oh wait, hang on. Yeah, we'll just do this. No, it won't work. Ready. 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 Yes, Captain. Moves depleted. Yep, that's sir. fine. Ready. Yes, Captain. Two more turns they have to wait there. Just keep the public order. I know we need to sell you out there, I'll do that in a minute. Ready! War dead! Set! March! No more moves, sir! Alright, let's do it. My slingers have really gained a lot of experience. Okay, so it's a pretty elite army. Look at that Sacred Band Infantry. Elite African Pikemen. I'm more concerned about Elite African Pikemen than the Sacred Band Infantry. But yeah, all we gotta do is kill him and we'll be fine. They'll probably end up just running away before too long. So, this is probably gonna be a complete waste of time. Because we just outnumber them by so much. Gotta find where they're recruiting these elite African pikemen and put a stop to it. Probably could leave them up front and they'll shoot them a little bit. But... Just come out first. Oh, 
one. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. If you hold the arrow button down and then click and drag. Or even just click and hold, it turns it around. Interesting. You learn something new every day. Something I wouldn't say is particularly useful. I suppose it could be. Ugh, it's gonna take forever for these guys to get out. This is why I hate the full battles. But I can't deny their usefulness. They or effectiveness. They're really good at defeating the enemy because they, they're so passive, they just let me shoot them. Uh, let's be careful with what we're doing here. It could end up getting very messy if, if we're not careful. Oh, they're running away, the bastards. Whatever. I told you this would happen. Waste of five minutes. There's no point chasing after them. What am I going to do? I'd need horse archers to do anything about that. So I sent my cavalry over there to go fight them. I'm just going to get my cavalry killed. Let him go. Come on, hurry up and leave, you fuckwits. God, what a, what a pointless fucking victory that was. The thing is, we have to forward up at the end of each turn or else they get exhausted if they don't. Well, that's going to make Andromeda, the battle there, a lot harder. How are they revolting? Alright, um... Oh man, assaulting that settlement's going to be a pain. Unless we game them out. Okay, that might work. Alright, what I'm gonna do, it's it's dodgy as shit, but it's not it's not that dodgy. I don't know. I need you to stand God damn it. 
No, not there. If I can stand in the center there. Problem is on this, I can't fucking make them stand there. I don't want them to come in on a corner. They don't come in properly. Oh, well, I don't have a choice now. They have to come in on that corner. For a fuck it. So they'll sally out during that fight. And they don't have enough force here to bloody do anything about it. If they come out here and they attack him, like... they, sh they I think they'll sally out. It, it's a bit risky what I'm doing there. It's just I, I recognize that assaulting that settlement there, given how crappy pikes function, um, will be very costly. There's no way around that. Alright, now what? Uh, Vindabone is fine. Alright, let's build stuff. I don't think there's that much we can do this turn. It's, it's fucking stupid. Like, whenever I have anything to do, it's always during fucking winter. And you might say, well, why don't you just wait until spring? Well, because it's available in fucking winter. I don't care if it's winter or not. Fucking do it if it's available. So we don't have heaps of cash, but we should have enough to just build whatever we want anyway. Doesn't look like there's that much to construct this turn. No, Artemis needs to be destroyed. Fuck, I built that. So that set us back a bit. It's alright. Temple of Cardonia. Oh, that's right, these guys need to get moving. Um. What? Oh my god. Uh, don't tell me I had already, like, set up recruitment for these, like, a while back. It doesn't matter that much, but. Jeez, sometimes I feel silly. Alright, um. It's time to go. Alright, you need five of these. Good thing they're cheap, so I can just disband them and nobody cares. Got a full stack there, yep. And then we'll just sail them from port to port. Then again, I did say I was going to get rid of uh, this rebel force here, didn't I? So I guess we're going to Athens first. I suppose, yeah. For death, march out of mood, sir. Okay, we've built everything that I can. I've got plenty of money, so that's good. I don't need this many in, in um in here anymore. Sir, yes, strapping boss. Clearly still needs some. That's okay, that's better. I'm gonna have to leave someone there. So what to do with with these people? So that'll give them some time to um, get better there. What to do with them? Oh, that's right. I remember. I was going to use them to disband here so that we could, um, boost the population here. I remember. Are we ready to do that yet? We need 4,000 people. Don't quite have enough just yet. Right, recruit a few more of Benonia anyway. Just so we can speed the process up. Could probably put some from Sejesta over there. But Sejesta is also trying to grow. Somewhat. 
That's right, I was supposed to send these to uh, Emporion. I don't think we need to do that anymore. You can stop that now. It's probably why our um, our finances have been going downhill so much. It's probably because just huge amounts of garrison recruitment. It's not necessarily my main force armies. Let's see, look at this. Don't need that many. But don't get me wrong, we need garrisons in these settlements. Just not as many, that's all. Okay, these guys they need to head back over here. Okay, um yeah, you'll continue to command them, I suppose. You're you've got this what will be a fairly difficult fight, I imagine. They're not that well armored. That was a great thing about these guys up here. They were just so badly armored that we were able to crush them. We won't go take on on the uh, Germans until we're ready. We're not ready yet. Loads of people here at Mediolanum. Don't really need this many. Just merge them. Okay, so here... What are we going to build? We need to fix up the public order, obviously. Still got full culture penalty. That's quite useful. Because we can't leave until... Well, it's really the garrison. We need to leave, leave behind a garrison. Um, and the thing is, like, we could build this up and maybe the next level would have some troops, but I can't guarantee that, and I can't check. So... I'd rather just not. Let's build that, because that will replace this, and hopefully get rid of some of the culture penalty. It also provides 10 public order. I mean, I could recruit ships, but fuck that, they're too expensive. Ready to sail. I have an idea. Yes, Captain! I'm going to bring these guys over there to to garrison the settlement. Yes, Stratigos. Ready to sail. Set sail. No more moves. I don't see any Carthaginian ships out here. Once they arrive, we should be able to leave. Don't see anything else that needs to be done. All of these settlements just need, just need a bit of time. Okay, that's good that he's here and he's not, he's not a bad governor. Can we leave? Why wasn't that being recruited? That needs to get done. Probably because I wasn't looking up over it properly. Okay, you'll need to stay there until that's built, I think. Okay, that seems to be all we can do this turn. Is there anything I need to retrain? Ships ready. No. Set. Okay, Set. these guys here need to be left behind, but I'm going to send these to go meet up with, with the forces out here. It'll take them a while to get there, but they'll never get there if they don't get started. Nothing else to retrain. Let's move on to the next turn. Come on, Carthage, Sally out. Yes, good. Okay, so. Oh, this is perfect. They got no missile units and they've only got one load of cavalry. 
I mean, they've got elite units, so they must be recruiting, you know, some of their elite units from here. Now, I don't really like the fact that my guys are coming in from a corner, because I've seen them come in from a corner very badly before. Usually when I have lots of cavalry, but I don't, so we should be okay. I mean, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see. So what I need to do is get my general over to where my infantry are going to show up from. This is kind of like a little ambush. Think of it like that. An ambush to which they pretty much always fall for. Oh my god. Jeez, I picked a bad spot to come in from. Look at these guys, I gotta walk all the way up this hill. Well, whatever, get over here. Hopefully we can get organized before they get here. I mean, essentially, if we could just manage to kill their general, we'll be okay. I mean, just, just to begin with. With the slingers. It'll take them a while to get out of the city, at the very least. Still, it's still going to be a lot less painful than assaulting the settlement. Now, if the... Um, if these guys actually performed well inside of cities, it might have been better to, you know, actually assault. But because they just performed so badly, and we're up against so many pikemen, which do perform really well in defense, it would have been disastrous. Not necessarily disastrous, it could have been very... Would have been not worth fighting, necessarily. I uh, sure as shit I'm not going to sit there starving it out for 10 turns. Okay, actually, it's not as bad as I thought. They're all coming in. They've made no effort to leave the city so far. Oh, they're probably trying to come in out through here. What I'll do is I'll pause the recording until they actually get themselves out of the city because it looks like it might take a little while. Fuck. Oh, numb locks off. Alright, oh, sorry. Hang on, what the? I can't fucking pause the recording. Uh, where's the buttons? <laughs> Shit, sorry guys. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, because the thing is, my pause recording button is F8. So I noticed that when I pause recording or press F8, it didn't work. It's because the F mode button was off for some reason. Maybe it was just when I smashed the keyboard or something. You know, I'll um, just pause it now. Okay, so what I've done here is I moved, I saw this guy coming out of this side here, so I decided to quickly move ahead, and everything worked out well because now we're shooting the shit out of their general. Because if we beat him, the rest of them will be easy. And he can't get us because, for one thing, we're on a high ground here, and we've got pikes protecting our guys, so everything is just peachy. reading some comments, people complaining about my complaining. Like that's not a fucking vicious circle. I can't fucking help it. If I'm upset or angry about something, I can't help but voice my opinion. What do people expect me to just not do that? Just to shut up and play. I just want to punch those people in the face. If they expect that. Maybe if I didn't put on such difficult challenges all the time. The thing is, you know, they're very stressful to do. It's not easy being me. A lot of pressure is put on me all the time. It's much easier for some of the other YouTubers that, you know, just play it casually, you know. Not, not that there's anything wrong with doing it that way, but, man, it's, oh man, so much fucking pressure's put on me all the time. I fucking lose one man, you know, unnecessarily, and I get fucking grilled by someone. You know, it has actually been said that the, uh, the audiences for Total War Blade videos are the most hysterical. 
I've actually spoken to a few YouTubers who have said that one of the main reasons that they moved away from Total War YouTube videos is because their audience was so spastic. I'm not going anywhere, guys, don't worry. And I know the majority of you are awesome. But the, th the problem is that the few of you who are out there who are just a fucking pain in the ass, you make it difficult for everyone. You know those guys that, the you know, when you, when you talk to them, they're the know-it-alls? The guys that have, like, useless degrees, like history or something like that, and they think they know everything, but they're totally useless. Those people. And how do I know you've got useless degrees? Because I also have useless degrees. So I'm sort of an expert on the matter. And it's gonna get the it's gonna be hard to get these guys to break, even though we did kill their general. Don't want to get too close to those walls either. Yeah, shoot over there. The thing is, at least like this, our our pikes are going to perform well. The problem is, when we assault the settlement, they just never perform well. I mean, their guys are still going to do all right as well. They're, they're probably going to actually cut through this to an extent because their pikes are so strong and my guys aren't exactly experienced. I can't get a good shot on the back of them anywhere. You shoot them because they're got a shot at the back possibly. See, they're shaking. That's certainly going to help. What I'll do is once they get a bit closer, I'll start wrapping around them and hopefully that'll break them. Seeing too many guys dying at the back. Yeah, God damn it, I get some seriously hysterical comments sometimes and it really pisses me off. I mean, it's so easy for, for people to sit back there and say, just ignore those people. I'm not someone who ignores issues and I'm not someone who ignores conflict. I welcome conflict and I, I when I see opportunity conflict, I fucking go right into it head on. Could be a character flaw, but I don't know. Um, I actually think it's a good thing. Um, maybe I should be concentrating on this. Right, let's do it. I'm going to send these guys to wrap around him. And you to wrap around there. Don't worry about them. Cavalry, get over here. Wish I had some bloody elephants or something just to scare them. The problem is, all of their army are elites. That makes things difficult. I thought I'd, thought I'd turn them off this. Watch out for that guy there. And they're all goddamn spearmen as well. Okay, you guys get way back now, we don't need you. Gotta break these motherfuckers. This is the problem with elite armies, you know? Well, when you're fighting an elite army, they just won't break. Even if you kill their general and they're exhausted. Okay, here's a chance here. You've gotta break this guy here, even though they're elite units. Alright, good, that worked. So these guys here, they're getting cut right through because they're pushing forward really aggressively to fight to the death run away good 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 right press the attack here should get shot there I might have to send you around the long way around. That's getting wrecked. We're not going to be able to progress onto Carthage with this army after this, I think. You're going to have to turn around and fight them. 
Come on, I told you to run. He's shaking. I need... Alright. Fuck it. We, get, we have to go around the dangerous way. Because we've got to hit the rear of this. Our guys are getting absolutely slaughtered here. Of course, because they're, they're up against higher tier units. Carthus is proving to be quite a, quite a tough cookie here. Fucking stupid thing to say, tough cookie. Medium phalanx. They're not particularly uh, skilled. That might help. Oh, not really. Break these motherfuckers. Okay, we're getting a lot of routing going on now. That's good. That's what we want to see. Keep hitting them in weak spots. You're probably fucked. Well, first to die, first to recover, I suppose. Just be careful with that. Okay, we got we got more units routing. What's that? Elite African pikeman there. About to fall apart. You guys. Don't be in guard mode. Push in there. Got him pincered. Okay, I want you to come around this side again because there's another gap opened up due to this guy completely breaking pretty much. Run, run away, just get back so the battalion doesn't get destroyed. Same with you, just get out of there. Shit, 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 get out of there. We're winning the battle, there's no doubt about that. Get him out of there. Okay, you guys are out of the fight. The battalion should still be intact. Good to see none of my guys have broken yet. But hit that weak spot. It was a lot easier to break the African pikemen when they had a lot of other shit units in their in their army. And because they don't, hard to break them. Pikes, get into pike formation. Let's just see how that goes. Okay, here we go. Mass, mass route. I hope so. Difficult fight. This is probably the most professional army we've gone up against so far. Okay, they slaughtered the majority of them. They're getting away, but they're too close to the towers there. Okay, 
to go kill this guy. It should be a lot easier now to win. Because they've lost so, so much of their troops. Now we've got now that we've got numerical superiority, that's that's you know provides a lot of extra shock. So you're destroyed by the number of enemies. So we need to pile up the the morale penalties. That's how you break them. Because you know, like I said, because they've got excellent morale, you know, you need a little bit more than the other units. Other other types of troops. Fucked if we didn't have cavalry. Okay, are there any guys that are inside the settlement? Right, because we need to. Um, I think we need to break these two as quickly as we can, or else we have to wait for them to get back here. Because we can't go through that that's, that gate. And these two here are just mercenary Hellenic phalanx, so they're, they're going to be a lot easier to kill. Okay, so it's basically a 2 to 1 kill ratio. Let's have a look here. All of our battalions are still very much intact. We recovered a lot of troops. So that's good to see. Overall, a, a really good result. But, um... They're going to need to send some troops back for, for retraining. Oh yeah, you can go ahead and have that. I don't really care. Okay, that rioting sign, that simply means that it rioted under their control, not under mine, because I only just took it. This guy is good, I'll, I'll adopt you. Yeah, the army's still intact. Alright, let's have a look at here. Resistance is futile. Damn right it is. Okay, so... It doesn't really make any difference when that's done. Just, just do it. So we're probably going to be stuck in Andromeda for a, at least a little while. At least the mere fact that we've taken down that settlement. Oh, you know what, maybe we, if we could, we should go for the other settlements, because they don't have much here. So we're getting some of their best units from this region. Um, that'll need to be extra morale as well, so that's that was contributing to why they weren't, weren't breaking. Probably should get rid of that if we want to grow it to the to a uh, huge city. Not yet, though. And repair this. Can we recruit ships here? Probably not. Ready to sail. Because what I want to do is, you know, get get these guys. Um... Let me just think here. I sent a bunch of guys... Okay, here's the thing. This guy here would be fantastic to use for retraining. Alright, what I should do... I'm gonna bring them down here. Where's another ship? I'm gonna pick him up. 
and I'm going to take him to Cyrene. And he'll provide experience for these two units to get them get them better. Ready to sail! Ready to sail! Ready to sail! Yes, sir! Out of move, sir! Ready to Try and meet them halfway yes, if we can. Sir. Doesn't seem to be out any pirates move, out here. Sir. At the moment at least. Ready. So your job is to come here. Yes, sir! All ashore! What is prepare for battle? Victory and honor. Oh damn it! Doesn't yes, matter. Fight Daniel. them on the next episode. I mean, next turn. Um. Yeah, because experience is very important for my for my troops, and then we also need to send send these guys back to Cyrene. Yes, Out of move, sir. So they've got an army coming in over here, but they don't seem that important. The sling is here. Do they need to go back to Capua? No, not really. Not actually. One of these guys will need to go back. Back for retraining. They've managed to gain a lot of experience. So some very damaged units here. But luckily reinforcements are on the way. Ready to sail! Yes, Captain. Damn it. I was hoping these guys would be able to make it back to the port there, but they can't. Ready to sail. Sir, orders. March. So you have to stay Ready. in this port, because otherwise yes, this ship's going to crush them. And then next turn, you get on the ship Ready and we'll sail. sail you to Emporion. So this guy here, it looks like he hired a bunch of mercenaries. He's bypassing me, probably to go to Bertigala. I'm not going to let it you take it. While that's going on, we'll go take Velika. Not doing that now because we're already at 47 minutes. I don't want to risk sir. crashing. Under siege, sir. They're, they're bound to have been recruiting from this region. What I'm finding weird though is that the population that was the same as last turn. So when they recruit, it's like it doesn't do anything. Either that or they, they get like free, like extra population in every every one of their settlements every turn, which would make sense because the AI, generally speaking, if they don't if they've got a little town, they'll they won't manage it correctly. It'll never get to large town. Lower the population with that, and increase the taxes. So I'm just going to go through and build some stuff, and then we'll end the video there. I really do want to build that, but the public order is not brilliant. Okay, we'll be fine. It's only four turns. It's almost a huge city, which is good. What do we need out here? Population growth, maybe. What about this? Is this a desert region? No, hell no. How much trade is here? Not much. If I was to build this, it costs me 50 a turn in upkeep. It does provide population growth and happiness, though. And I'm sort of like at the point where I don't mind if I actually build this. Do I, I don't want to build them up when I need the money. I would also reduce... Well, it doesn't actually reduce corruption. I'm only reducing corruption because of... Um, Loss of income. You don't want to build that necessarily because that, that really increases corruption. Alright, do it. Because I need to get this to huge city and that'll give us an extra half a percent population growth. It'll, get, it'll push through the next squalor level. Might actually be able to get it to 24,000. Just is looking good. Good public order, reasonable growth. Uh, 
Um, let's see here. We need to destroy that, but the public order is not quite ready for it. I don't want Temple of Marduk. So just build that, I suppose. Say the Yukos. Alright, destroy that. Okay, public order is under control here. Let's keep going with law. Alright, if it's under control, I guess we don't need to keep recruiting. Let the population go down naturally, because otherwise it's costing me money. Okay, Kydonia. We need to destroy the Temple of Apollo. Gets rid of 25% public order. Ships ready. My lord, march out of move, sir. Yes, strategy. Says making their way over here. Good. Things are coming along nicely. So we have now got 151 settlements, which means 48 settlements remain. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe. Part 161, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.